Hi guys, I'm Dr. Jason Bark with the Natural Athletes Clinic and I want to talk to you about sinus infections today. So our sinuses are small little holes in our skull that are usually warm and damp and wet and those holes are there to help keep our cranium lighter if you can believe that or not. But because of those qualities I just described, they're more prone to being host to various bacteria and viruses creating sinus infections and illnesses in us. So if you've ever had a sinus infection, you're probably really familiar with that characteristic headache that's maybe up here, maybe right in your face, even a lot of people say behind their eyes. You'll have maybe some teeth pain, you'll of course have horrible discharge, runny nose, maybe some post-nasal drip, and you'll feel systemically horrible. Chances are you're not going to go work out when you've got a sinus infection. So how are we more prone to getting these sinus infections? Well, a lot of different causes. One of the most common one is dry, cold air. So athletes who are outside in the winter running, biking, doing whatever, that cold air gets into our sinuses because they're part of our respiratory system. When we breathe through the nose, the air actually passes through the sinuses there. That cold air will dry that tissue out and leaving it maybe cracked or maybe a little bit less strong so that can actually allow viruses and bacteria to take hold in there. So if you're an athlete who does a lot of outdoor stuff, it might be a good idea, outdoor stuff in the winter that is, might be a good idea to give it a break and exercise indoors. I know the dreaded treadmill, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Other causes for sinus infections are things like uh, bacterial imbalances. So if you're somebody who's had a lot of antibiotics in your life, of course antibiotics kill the bad stuff, but they also kill the good stuff. And there's actually a lot of healthy bacteria up in our nose and our upper respiratory tract there that helps keep those infections away. So taking a probiotic is a good answer for that one. Other causes are a lot of colds and even allergies. And it's not really the cold or the allergy, but because those can affect that sinus tissue up there, they can make it swell and uh, become engorged with fluid. That actually blocks the drainage of the sinus fluid. And there's actually a little bit of fluid that circulates through there every day. And so if these are, your sinuses are swollen, they can't drain, that fluid gets trapped in there. Another great way to host some infections up in there. Um, the other reason are weakened immune systems. So some people just have weaker immune systems. Some people train too hard. Training, uh, excessive stress, poor diet, all those things can, can lower the function of our immune system and can set you up for getting infections. And sinus infections seem to be one of those readily, easily attained infections from things like that. So other causes are things like food sensitivities. So you can have uh, food sensitivities, and that's not a, it's different from an allergy, but a sense, certain food sensitivities can aggravate the sinuses, also cause them to be inflamed, cause them to secrete a lot of mucus. Uh, you know, for instance, dairy is uh, one of these common foods that causes a lot of mucus secretion in people. And when that happens, again, we block that outflow of the sinuses, leading to a setup for more infections. And then the third, or the, the last cause for sinus infections is actually constipation. So we know that people who are constipated, they don't move their bowels enough, they wind up having more sinus infections. And we're still learning about that relationship, but if you're a person who's not moving your bowels at least once a day, that means you're constipated and you probably need to work on your digestion. And if you do, you'll probably find that you'll have fewer sinus infections. So how do we treat them? Well, we've got a couple of really awesome natural medicines that we've had good luck in killing these sinus infections when you start taking care of those other issues. Uh, but before we get into those, you know, things like a probiotic is a smart choice. Uh, using a neti pot, which is a specialized little pot that you can actually pour fluid into your one nostril and it'll circulate through the sinuses and come out the other nostril. There's a little bit of an art to that. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna demonstrate that one today, but uh, a neti pot's a great way to drain the sinuses out getting rid of those food sensitivities. So maybe checking out a food sensitivity test and finding out if there are some foods you're eating that your body just doesn't like. And uh, like I said before, some of the biggest offenders for that are dairy foods. So that's definitely worth a try looking at that also. And so the two natural medicines that we really love to use to kill off sinus infections are, are one called acute immune, which is this awesome combination of all the best natural medicines that both kill the bad bacteria, kill the bad viruses, and also stimulate immune function. It's got oregano in it, olive leaf extract, garlic, ginger, uh, several different types of medicinal mushrooms in there, 
uh, grapefruit seed extract, vitamin A, zinc, everything you can think of that's great at killing stuff off that's natural. So we use a lot of acute immune in the winter time when we're sick with basically any kind of uh, respiratory tract illness really well, works well for the sinuses too. And then the second one we use a lot of is something called monolaurin, and that contains a compound called lauric acid, which is a specialized derivative from things like coconut milk, and we even find it in breast milk, but we find that it is great at boosting immune function, and uh, it's probably most best known for killing viruses off. And by the way, 90% of these upper respiratory infections, you know, things like sore throats, cold, sinus infections, 90% of those are caused by viruses. So oftentimes uh, an antibiotic is not the right choice for that, but working on killing that virus off. Of course, eating a nutritious diet, getting rest, and hydrating too. If you're not hydrated, it's harder to get that mucus and all that junk cleared out if you're dehydrated. So hopefully all of these tips will help you out, keep you from getting those sinus infections. I know they're nasty. We try to avoid those as much as we can. Take a look at the website. We've got tons of information on natural medicines, uh, natural therapies, diet and nutrition, and lifestyle tips for active and athletic people. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.